happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you're having a good one so far. Uh, today, I am doing another full weather update because I did not have one Thursday and I did not think I had one Tuesday. So we're going to off schedule. I'm going to try to keep it on schedule this week. But uh, yeah, so this is for a weather update, of course. But the, I do have my monitor today. I am normally where I'm having my desk office thing. Uh, and yeah, so. I currently have the surface analysis, but we're gonna, real quick, we're going to take one last look at Dorian. This is Dorian up here at the really upper portion of the screen, 75 miles per hour, mile per hour winds, minimum central pressure, 963, and it's moving northeast at 25 miles an hour. So, if we click on that, we go to uh, little cone, and you can see it'll likely be gone by probably tomorrow. It'll be gone by probably tomorrow evening, maybe still around Tuesday out in this region, but it'll uh, be, be gone. You can see it's definitely very big still. It's bigger than, uh, tropical storm force winds is bigger than New England pretty much. Uh, and we can see hurricane force winds are pretty large. This is bigger than what was a Category 5 hurricane in the Bahamas. It's, a def it's very large, the tropical storm force wind field. Uh, so that is good, but... Uh, Right now, we can see go to the wind history. This is really cool. This, this storm has been around for two weeks. It's been around. I mean, that first video I posted was on Saturday, August 25th, I think it was. So it's, uh, if that even was a Saturday, I'm not sure. I think it was the 24th. I'm not, I don't know. But uh, around there, uh, you can see it started right there. And then it uh, got stronger, hit the lesser analogies, and then it has moved to the east of Puerto Rico, gone right there, stalled in the Bahamas last weekend, and then it rode the coast all week, and now it is up here in past Nova Scotia. So, this has been, definitely been a very long hurricane. You can see it, we are at a, the National Hurricane Center is an advisory 62. So, probably the longest storm of the year. Uh, if we go back a while we can go back to see what else is going on in the Atlantic currently. There is some, there is activity. Okay. We have Gabriel, which is strengthened at 60 miles an hour, moving north, northwest, to this direction at 12 miles an hour. Uh, tropical storm. We have an invest with a 20% in the next five days of forming right here uh, to the north of the sort of Bahama Islands to the east of them. Uh, hopefully that does not form, though. If it does form, it would likely be a tropical storm, nothing too bad, but we hope, we gotta hope that the main island right there, Grand Bahama, will be okay, because that will not be good, but we do have another area that has a 40% in the next five days of forming, and a 10% in the next two days of forming, and out in the middle of the Atlantic, it came off of Africa, uh, now it's out here. If that does form, it could take a track similar to this, uh, Maybe like that, that, more like that. We'll have to see. Uh, uh, we'll keep an eye on that. I will keep an eye on that every day. Uh, and then we have a little bit of an invest out in the Pacific of a 50% in the next five days of forming. And Central, we just have nothing. So let's go take a look at now. We're going to take a look at the surface analysts. Uh, you can see the pressure gradients right there. That is Dorian pretty much moving out. Uh, I do want to go to the fronts real quick because this is a little bit more more uh, nicely organized. We have a one front out here and we have a stationary boundary right there. And so we do have a slight risk for some severe weather, which we'll be looking at. And we have a cold front out there. We're going to be able to look at the some soundings and see the temperature things. We can do that real quick. Let me find one for the Oregon region. Let's look at it at Medford. Uh, it's not a sounding, uh, skew tea. That is something in high. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we can see, you really can't tell. The atmosphere is, uh, pretty, you really, you don't see any, uh, like, temperature things. I mean, it's pretty dry up there, uh, towards, like, 800, 700 HPA, but, uh, or 700 up there, but, uh, doesn't look too bad if we go back to the weather prediction center and you can see how we have that cold front right there uh, and stuff. But uh, let's take a look at not the severe weather. Let's take a look at the satellite. We are gonna we would go we may go we're gonna go region by region. Uh, let's go 
go ahead and find our uh, first region, and that will be the northwest region, the northwest areas. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this right now. We're gonna be like in that pretty large area, actually. So uh, let's make this okay. There we go. So we can see if we play this out here. It's gonna lag, of course. My computer is slow today, but uh, yeah, we can see. We have a lot of upper, higher clouds, a lot of, maybe, that looks like strato, trash strato, or what is it? Strato, uh, it's strato something, I think it's, uh, I'll have to, I, I really can't remember what it was. It's a common cloud you see in the winter when it's just cloudy and not raining. Uh, looks like out in that region, uh, maybe even fog. Yeah, it looks like fog. But we can see a lot of upper level clouds if we go to the, uh, let's get away from that region, let's get to the southwest here, California area. It's going to take forever, of course. Alright, there we go. We can see the latest, we have maybe the, uh, yeah, maybe, we, yesterday we had the monsoon, it looks like, it seemed like, uh, kicking in Arizona and New Mexico. Uh, a lot of storms coming off the mountains, uh. And then we have, right right now, we really don't have much activity in California or Nevada. Uh, some up there, and then we have some upper level clouds. But n nothing too uh, really con uh, convective, it looks like, in this area. Uh, so let's get rid of this. All right, let's take a look at an another sector. Let's take a look at the northeast now. So, yeah, we're talking about the low pressure, that, or the uh, big uh, very clinic low out here at the cold front and the warm front like that. You can see right here is the clouds. My mouse is having some issues still. I don't know why. I think it may be time for me to get a new mouse. I've had this one for about a year and a half. It's uh, it like just stops even though I'm still moving it. And I just switched the battery and I checked the batteries. They are good and everything is connected how it's supposed to be. So I'm not sure. It may just be it's broken but uh I'll, I'll see what happens this weekend i may get a new one next weekend but uh we have the, yeah we have a lot of clouds out here we have some maybe looks like cumulus clouds out in the new england area some bands coming up the mountains it looks like and then you have some bands in the main area looks like that uh stationary front we have over there what is it do what the Okay, I don't know what my computer just did. I guess it just feels like it can do whatever it wants. Okay, let's go to the, the south over here. To the south and the southeast. Uh, not much activity, surprisingly. The, you know, I don't see the sea breeze really kicking in in Florida yet. We'll have to we'll see if that actually does happen today. Uh, Texas has some cumulus clouds out in that region by to the west of Houston. And we have some clouds on the coastal regions over here, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina, and uh, with that cold front, we have some clouds coming down south, if we go back a little bit, yeah, we can see those moving down, uh, next we are going to take a look at the, the SPC, what they are saying for today, uh, today we have a slight risk out in Colorado, uh, Nebraska, and even portions of southeastern Wyoming, we have a marginal risk in the, can't go, that goes to Kansas, uh, Storm reports for today, we have no reports, uh, no watches, no measure of skill discussions. Uh, let's click here and go to the Queen see. Do we have a day four outlook? So, day four would be Wednesday. So, Wednesday could be a potentially a big severe weather day. We'll have to see about that. But we have a slight risk uh, today, and then that system moves out to the uh, Midwest to upper or Midwest and the North Plains, uh, by Minnesota for Monday and for Tuesday. We have another marginal risk out in the High Plains areas, but, uh, we can have that day four outlook, which is what we need to keep an eye on. So, we are going to look at this on Pivotal Weather. Let me get it over here. That's why I have my monitor connected. Because Pivotal Weather slows down my computer a lot. I guess it's just because of how, uh, complex it is. Pivotal weather has a lot of things, but right now we are looking at the HR, or the high, res high resolution rapid refresh. Uh, but Pivotal weather has offered
offers a lot of like things you can look at. Like look at all the stuff for the HRR model and the surface and precipitation, upper air, height, wind, temperature, severe weather. Look at all this. You can even do soundings. Uh, and then you have winter weather. You don't get all this stuff on tropical tidbits, I feel. You just, I mean, I know you don't get all this stuff, but, uh, I mean, tropical tidbits has more, I guess, uh, visually appearing, uh, weather maps. They're, they look better, but I like pivotal weather better just because it has more stuff on it. But, uh, yeah, we lay this out tonight. Uh, this is 19 Z. You can see we have some scattered storms in central Colorado. Uh, nothing really too bad, but then we have this. Uh, it moves out further to the east. We have, looks like maybe a little bit of a line of, or a mesoscale system in Colorado with some stronger cells out here, maybe even down to the panhandles and over there. Uh, and if we go later, we can see this turns into sort of a line right here in this region. Uh, we can see that line will dissipate throughout the night and uh, you can still see it though. Cold front, faintly. Uh, we're going to be looking at that. Uh, severe weather. Let's take a look at Cape for today. We will look at the surface based. Uh, all right. This is taking forever. I'll stop that. Okay. All right. So we play this out. Um, you just go later. Let's go later. Okay. All right. We have in our severe weather area. Out here we have some Cape values even in Kansas of 2,000 uh, to about 3,000. So we do have definitely plenty of Cape today, 2,000 to 3,000 numbers in our severe weather area, but not much severe weather will be happening in Kansas over there. We, we really need to focus on or look at this area, this area over here uh, mainly. But we can see we do have enough numbers, maybe about three, probably about up to about 3,000 to 50, three to three. Or 3200. That's, uh, let me take a look at the NAM 3KM model. And we can look at the, uh, the reflectivity. This would not, not take forever. I can't wait to, I need, I need to figure out on a computer. Well, the pivotal weather is so slow. The weather. All right, yeah, so we can see tonight, this is 3Z. We have a line going through Colorado right there. And the NAM says that'll likely dissipate after uh, 5 in the morning and we'll move on. So, and that'll wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will have a good rest of your day tomorrow. We will not even be looking at Hurricane Dorian anymore. If there is a video tomorrow, I will. But we will not even be talking about Hurricane Dorian. We'll just be looking at uh, the tropics. So this is the first video in two weeks. We will not have to look at Dorian. So that is good. But hope you have a good rest of your Sunday and peace.